From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Emily Luxon with your news headlines. A teenager left at the door of a Nashville hospital with a gunshot wound has passed away. Metro Police say 18-year-old Stephen Shelton was found outside General Hospital just before 6 Friday evening. A surveillance camera showed a man driving a white Hyundai Tucson carrying Shelton to the door and then driving away. Shelton was shot inside the car at Cumberland View Public Housing. The investigation continues. In an effort to address a teacher shortage, Metro Nashville Public Schools are inviting retirees back into the classroom. The school district held a retiree recruitment fair at the Martin Professional Development Center. Metro schools need both full and part-time teachers. Qualified applicants can start work in just a matter of days. District officials believe retired teachers' passion for education and work experience could help the district. There are more ramp closures this weekend on I-440. That includes the southbound exit to Hillsborough Pike from 440 East and the northbound Nolensville Pike on ramp to 440 West. Both will be shut down until Monday morning. The I-40 eastbound ramp to 440 East is also closed. It's set to be back open sometime tomorrow morning. And now here's meteorologist Henry Rothenberg with a look at your forecast. Emily, another cold night out there. Clear conditions. Don't forget we fall back tonight as daylight saving time comes to an end. 611 on Sunday. That is when sunrise occurs. Temperatures in the 30s. We'll be in the 50s by the afternoon, but sunset now at 449. Tonight going to be chilly, falling to freezing in the city. 20s in outlying areas. Seven day forecast 56 for Sunday. 60s, but then we cool down again by the end of the week, courtesy of another strong cold front.